beautiful out here, isn't it? <sighs> Decided to come out here, talk about something I've been thinking about for a little bit. Um, the uh, biggest mistake of humanity. I'm just going to start this off by uh, telling you what got me on this train of thought. Um, I'm a high school student, and my first hour class is science fiction. And um, essentially what we've been doing in science fiction is reading some short stories. And there's one that really caught my attention. Not only because... There's things similar going on in the world right now. It was quite interesting to see what the other students, you know, their opinions on the themes in the story. Um, The story was to be or not to be. And the premise of this story is, you know, it's it's on Earth. It's um, in the future. Everybody lives to be about 130, some people like 250. So, you know, people are living for a really long time. And there is, there are these ethical suicide studios. Because the main problem in this story is population control now we have population control in the real world you know in china you are allowed one male child if you have another male child you you don't get to keep it it dies and if you have one more child that is female you can keep that but absolutely no more children after that for a while you were actually only allowed one child it's fucking nuts dude but yeah what was i gonna say oh so we're reading the story and when we read these short stories we uh we discuss it as a class and boy these discussions They're great discussions, mainly for the reason that it just kind of opens my eyes a little bit to what people, you know, really think about what goes on in the world, you know, or what's, you know, to come. So there was one discussion, um, we touched on a few topics. Mainly, the gist I got was that some people didn't really see a problem with this, you know, with this ethical suicide studio. And these ethical suicide studios were 100% promoted. 100% promoted actually encouraged you to commit suicide. And it's just nuts to me. Like, you can't think of another solution? Like, shoot, man. Nobody really touched on this part of it, but they created the problem. By taking medical advancement that far to where people are living to be up to 250 years old, No wonder you need population control. Like, what the fuck? Like, how do you expect to maintain this planet when we live to be 250 and reproduce the way we fucking do? Like, no, dude. Like, that's just... No. No. It it really just... I don't know. People don't notice these things people don't really think twice like they think oh this is just a story you know like it's really not like this is so 
plausible. Like, maybe not the 250 years old thing, but, like, dude, population control is a thing, dude. Genocide is a thing. That's genocide. I mean, well, it's not really genocide if you want to get into the definition of genocide. But it's fucked up. That's for sure. And some people in my class, it's seemingly intelligent people. I'm not going to say they're not intelligent because intelligence doesn't mean you believe in the right thing. That That's... Hitler was very intelligent. Not that I'm comparing my fellow students to Hitler, but in my opinion, they're on the wrong side. So, yeah, yeah. People nowadays believe that suicide can be ethical. That is a bit of ex- a bit of an extreme statement, but I mean that's kind of what it is. Like there are students in my class who believe that suicide can be ethical. Like what? Promoting suicide is ethical? Like what the fuck, dude? But anyways, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Like shoot. I'm thinking about making more videos like this just because the world is fucked up. I don't want it to be fucked up, you know? Not that, you know, one video can change so much, but I like, I like seeing, you know, people talk about these issues. So I think I might do the same. But, yeah, beautiful, beautiful day. Well, more like night, but just look at that sky. It's cold as balls out here, but I'm really enjoying it. Always nice to get outside, even in the winter, man. But... The title of this video was Humanity's Biggest Mistake. And I will conclude this video by telling you humanity's biggest mistake is defying nature. Defying nature. Because making it so people live to be 250 years old is defying nature. Unnatural immunization is also defying nature. There are a lot of things in this modern world that defy nature, and it is going to be the detriment of us. I feel this is a topic I should discuss in other videos, because it's quite, quite vague. Quite vague of a statement to make, just as a conclusion. So, expect more videos like this, and expect to be learning more about why we don't give a shit about nature. Thank you.